down for Carr. Shotgun. Time. End zone. Isaiah Burst. Touchdown. Bulldogs. Carr on first down toward the end zone. Jump ball. Caught. Touchdown. Looking for Adams. Presser. Pumps. Runs. That's it. Touchdown. Carr. 37 survey and looking. Got it. Touchdown. Carr heaves one. Adams is in for the touchdown. A strike from 59 yards. Gain of 29. Carr Adams. Touchdown. Friends, the way is going to be the quarterback that had the most the most well-known coming into this week and all the evaluators telling us and what we also saw with our own eyes during practice the most impressive quarterback here Derek Carr and I thought he had a very nice week here at the senior bowl Derek Carr to the air for the first time and completes to number 83 Kevin Norwood out of Alabama Billy Turner now, right tackle North Dakota State like him a lot there you go it's always nice to know people are watching Norwood again this time for a first down inside the 20 First down and 10 again for Carr from the shotgun. Nice pocket to step into, and Crockett Gilmore out of Colorado State into the end zone. Our first touchdown of the afternoon. Yeah! I want to go back to David Carr because he came out in 2002. Yes, sir. That's the year I was in Tampa Bay, and we didn't have a first-round draft choice. We had to trade a first and a second rounder for a star. That was me. <laughs> we, didn't have, we couldn't take your brother. I want to know what it's like witnessing a brother going number one in the draft. Right. What was that like? Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, again, that's something that not a lot of you know twelve-year-olds get to experience. You know, going to the draft, just witnessing those things. It's such a blessing. But he's still a big part of your life, isn't he? I mean, he's at yes. every one of your home games. He still looks like a movie star. <laughs> he comes to all your games. He's, he's He was the man at Fresno. What's it like having a big brother that played at this university as your number one supporter? What an advantage. You know, just what a blessing it is from God to have, you know, a, a guy like that who's been through, you know, the roller coasters of this game. I've been around, you know, football, around the NFL game since I was 12, you know, 11, 12 years old. I remember sitting down with him. He's getting ready for the Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, just another Sunday, you know, afternoon game. And I'm sitting there at 12 years old saying, oh, it's third and four? Okay, the nickel's pressed. Oh, they're playing two-man this time. Oh, he's doing this. Oh, they're blitzing this time. You know, 12-year-olds aren't supposed to watch NFL games and do those things. I played quarterback. My brother played quarterback at Louisville. Yep. I played at Dayton. Are you better than them? You know, I... I, I mean, if you're I, both on the board. If yeah. you're both on the board, who are you taking? Yeah, I'm taking me, yeah, because I'm, I'm a competitor, and he'll say the same thing. He said, he, he'll say, I'm taking myself because we are extremely confident in what we do. No, nah, you can't answer this politically correct. No, no. You're not like him at all. No. You're in a totally different offense in right. a totally different era, right. and your position playing style is totally different. Yeah, it is. Now, I want you. Right. What do you say about that? I appreciate that. You know, let's go win some championships now. 70% completions? Uh, 113 touchdowns and 24 interceptions. This is this is a lot of yards, man. Yes, How sir. many yards? 13,000. Yeah. Is, is your arm sore? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> I got throw, throw all day. Where's Derek Carr throwing the football with the great ones? You can line anybody up against me, and I'm gonna throw against them. And I, and, and I like my chances. You know, in, in the most humble way. There's not a throw that I can't make. You know, and if I have to make it, I will make it. I'm very confident. Uh, you know, I feel like I, like I can fit one in behind a corner's face. You know, I feel like even if the guy's covered, I can put it, put the ball where it needs to be, so we can have a successful play. I mean, you're six foot three, two hundred twenty pounds. You run four six. You got a great pedigree with your brother. Yes, you sir. call all the plays in college, and you average fifty points a game. What's wrong with all the hmm. the, re the reading I've done? I don't see your name up here in these mock drafts. <laughs> Is there something I'm missing? No, sir. Is Good. there a flaw, a, a dramatic flaw? No, sir. Yeah, there's two different kinds of perceptions of me. You know, there's one in the media, and then there's one that matters. You know, there's uh, you know, the, ones, the, the ones that I'm getting from the coaches, the GMs. That kind of perception is a lot different than the one you hear on TV. So you know, we'll find out on draft day. is one of the top signal callers in the draft, reminding me of a young Tony Romo.
watching him display poise and patience in the pocket reminds me of the three-time Pro Bowler in Dallas. Looking at Derek Carr progress over the season, I saw a guy who developed better poise and patience working through his progressions, finding open receivers at all areas of the field. Tony Romo has really been an outstanding playmaker from the pocket because he has special athleticism and the ability to make plays by extending time and finding receivers down the field. Derek Carr also shows those traits as he routinely works to the perimeter to make plays with his feet or arm down the field. Finally, watching Tony Romo, I see a playmaker who excels with the deep ball. Here we see the arm strength, being able to stretch it vertically, these are the things that made him special in Dallas and is one of the traits that I see in Derek Carr as he continues to make big plays down the field. As you look at Derek Carr, I think many scouts will see a player that is very similar to Tony Romo. Beautiful day and a lot of excitement and anticipation this afternoon with the start of the 2014 NFL Draft. All eyes on local product Derek Carr. The Fresno State quarterback has been called one of the top prospects in the draft and is rumored to be sought after by a handful of teams, including the Browns and Raiders. There's no denying his numbers with Fresno State, passing for more than 5,000 yards last year and 50 touchdowns with just eight interceptions. A strong showing in the Senior Bowl and the NFL Combines really elevated his status as well. There hasn't been this much excitement in Bakersfield since his older brother David was selected by Houston with the number one pick in the draft back in 2002. As for Derek, there have been many analysts who have placed the six-foot-two car ahead of Johnny Football, Johnny Manziel of Texas A&M. And the number of stories and breakdowns that are surrounding Derek are as numerous as the scenarios on when he'll be taken and where he will end up. We'll just have to wait and see. It all begins tonight with round one, five o'clock from New York. The, broad, the draft will be broadcast on ESPN and the NFL Network. You can also join Derek's live Google Hangout today. Just search Facebook, Derek Carr Quarterback, or hashtag my draft day and click on the link. With the 36th pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, the mighty Oakland Raiders select. Yeah, I know you love us. Derek Carr, quarterback, Fresno State. Well, there you go. As, uh, as expected, the Raiders have selected Derek Carr from down the road in Fresno. Yeah, 215 pounds, more athletic than people think. He ran a sub 4740 at the combine. A lot of teams thought he was the best pure thrower in this draft. Well, we, we have two. We have two situations. We we have Derek Carr and Blake Bortles, two really good quarterbacks that are playing really well right now. But guess what? Matt Schaub is out with an elbow injury. This guy was 11 for 13, 143 yards, three touchdowns. He looks exceptional. He looks like he's ready to go out and start. The only rookie quarterback who's going to start here on opening day. And you said even back in the spring, you thought he was the best one coming out. I think he's the safe his quarterback coming out in the draft for many reasons Jim one he has NFL size when you look at him at the quarterback position he has a good arm can make all the throws he's a good athlete he can run around and he's excellent in the pocket something that people talked about that maybe he wouldn't be great at in the NFL is he got the courage to stand in there well when I watched all this Fresno State tapes and all during the preseason he showed that he can move in the pocket, looks defenders off, and can drive the football down the field and make big plays in the passing game, and that's what the Raiders really want. It lets the safety car get a lot more for the end zone for Roberts! He's got it! Touchdown! Raiders! Second and three. Car looking for Wolford, he's got it! Down. What a pass from Derek Carr, who said that he thinks Clive Walford can really be a special player in this league. Each team has used a timeout here, back to back, and it's a third and two, and they're going deep, and they're looking for Holmes! He beat Cromarty! Touchdown! Derek Carr really throws a pretty deep ball, and I love the fact that he put some air on this. What happens? One timeout left from the 38. Carr lost it in the air. Oh, it's caught by Crabtree. Touchdown, Raiders. You can't throw it any better than Carr just did. 38 yards. Derek Carr has looked like a star. Let's Carr. Holmes. 
Touchdown. They get the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Buster screen, he's got his head turned towards the line of scrimmage. He never sees the ball leave the hand of Derek Carr. Three receivers left. Clive Wall for Damari Cooper, Seth Roberts. Derek Carr got a lot for the end zone for Roberts. He's got it! Touchdown, Raiders! Touchdown. What a throw by Derek Carr. And Seth Roberts got right over the top of the coverage of Bradley Roby. Derek Carr under center. It's going to be a lob here for Michael Crabtree. He's got it! Touchdown! Raiders! That was a perfect lob pass right in his basket. Car in the gun. Three receivers left. Now they're going left. A pump. And a lob for the end zone. Rivera open! He's got it! Touchdown! Raiders! What a great play by Derek Carr. He made a pump. Rivera ran right down the seam, right by the safety. On second and ten, Carr throwing for the end zone. Touchdown, Michael Crabtree. That's an incredible throw, Greg. Carr just able to freeze the secondary with that slight little pump fake before throwing a rifle in there to Crabtree in between Sean Smith and Eric Berry. Tremendous arm strength. Carr from the gun, over the middle, it is caught for the Oakland touchdown, Seth Roberts. Derek Carr marches Oakland, nine plays, 80 yards, and Seth Roberts introducing himself to the NFL with the game-winning touchdown catch. 351 yards, three touchdown passes for the young Derek Carr gets a really good Baltimore defense. Everyone's excited about what we did, but it's like, I'm excited about what, what's coming. And when people are like, well, how do you know? Because well, I know how we work. Oh. <sighs> this is the one that gets me. Because you're starting to X. The, the zebra has them down the middle. Your Y is coming across with the back and the flat. Watch it! Got the big personnel in. Well, no, I'm a big fan of yours. I was a big fan of you coming out. Oh, thank you. That really means a lot, Coach. I would have taken you, but I just taken out. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Well, I appreciate. It. I really do. That means a lot. Good job, Eli. Great rep. Thank you. Here's your pass to six hour. Good. 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 I was just going through it so I could see it. Solo left, pass 66, solid. U Seattle. I want Sunday's hut. What's up? Hey, yeah. you gonna go make one for me? Yeah, I'm gonna go make one. Hey, I'm gonna come dance with you too. I already know we gotta all come up, bro. All right, just so you know, I'm coming. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. You gotta go get one for me. Let me know when you're ready for it in the game. I'll throw you a go route. Make it happen. I'm good with nakeds too. I like all the nakeds getting on the move. Gr <laughs> Gruden secretly wants to be our coach so bad. <laughs> He's got a sweet little gig, though. What's that? He's got a sweet little gig, though. Yeah. Monday Night Football. What you're on a lot. Good luck, man. Get Appreciate down, you. Get that deep crop called. Yeah, <laughs> there ain't no doubt. Right. <laughs> Rip one of those. They're on to us. What? Oh, your mic. <laughs> Don't give away your secrets. Oh, no. You won two Super Bowl rings. You got some secrets. Oh, by the way, Justin Tuck is awesome. Good dude, right? Gosh, love him, man. He's been like a big brother for me. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you, too. Thank you. Next year, playoffs. Can you come right here? Hi. It's a helicopter. Can you say hi to the cameraman? Can you wave hi? Can you say hi? All right. <laughs>